नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन द अपकमिंग ट्रांसिट ऑफ प्लैनेट वीनस विच ऑन मे सेकेंड विल कम आउट ऑफ इट साइन ऑफ टॉरस एंड इट विल ट्रांसिट द साइन ऑफ जर्मनी सो फ्रॉम मे सेकेंड टिल मे ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ वीनस इज गोइंग टू बी इन अ डिग्निफाइड स्टेट इन द साइन ऑफ इट्स गुड फ्रेंड प्लानिट मर्करी ना गाइज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ डिफरेंट और अ वेरी सेंसिटिव ट्रांसिट of planet venus specifically for the very first week of its transit because as you know that mars which is already transiting in the gemini sign so that means mars will move to the cancer on may 10th so that means from may 2nd till may 10th venus is going to be in the influence of the planet mars second thing is that because the upcoming imminent lunar eclipse is going to be taking place in the libra so that means whatsoever ketu will generate in the form of result somehow the sign lord is going to be in the scrutiny as well and as you know guys that when we talk about the qualities of the gemini and the influence of mars over there so heated argument uh provocation instigation or jumping into something without giving proper thought into it so all those vulnerabilities is going to stay over there definitely guys after that lunar eclipse energy is going to fade away mars is going to leave the sign of gemini then definitely venus is going to be in its strong dignity to give you good results and guys because uh, gemini which represents all the airy qualities of the planet mercury in the form of a uh, pleasure and harmony in travels in communication getting good support from your friends suddenly there will going to be a lot of intellectual curiosity taking you towards the library towards the art galleries and all those people who are a content creator freelance uh, podcast creator or in any way you are a freelance self employed person anything to do with the designing with the uh, entertainment with the creativity all those people will definitely get benefited one thing is for sure guys the way things are happening right now in the air signs like whether you talk about gemini where venus will transit or whether you talk about libra and the aquarius there is a very strong planetary presence which is right now over there so let's say for example if as a part of your line of work communication plays a very integral role over there uh travel or connections networking or you are very much expecting or awaiting some very significant opportunity or you are in that verge of starting something completely new so this entry of venus in the gemini will be very much harmonious towards it and guys when we talk about remedy i do not want to complicate things as simple as that when we talk about venus so worship of goddess lakshmi recitation of shri suktam can be considered and the uh shukracharya which is also connected as the uh, guru with the planet venus which uh, does not have a uh, vision in one of his eyes so in a way any of the donations uh towards all those uh, institutes and ngos which are doing some work for the blind people can also be considered and also guys like uh donating white things like this could be milk this could be sugar this could be uh rice uh in the place of worship specifically on fridays can also be considered and if you definitely want to increase the venus in energy try to stay happy keep people around you happy and wear perfume and just appreciate the beauty of nature have flowers all around you so in the form of decoration and interior decor so all of that can be considered to give energy to the planet venus and like the way i always say this thing uh, venus in the gemini will definitely drive lot many people towards flirtatiousness but at the end of the day venus has got a strong say on the females so being very respectful towards them now this could be in the form of your female coworker this could be your wife this could be in any way staying respectful towards the feminine influence all around you is the best way of appeasing or strengthening the energy of venus in your personality in your life okay guys now we will uh, briefly look that how this upcoming transit of venus is going to be influencing all the 12 rising signs so guys uh, starting first with the aries lagna so guys beyond doubt venus is a very important but in a way kind of a killer planet for you guys but definitely when we talk about um, for any of your commercial gains 
any of the matters of your speech your eating habits your connection within the immediate family environment venus has got a very strong say over there so guys uh, venus's transit in the third house will definitely benefit all those people who are connected with anything to do with marketing communication designing travel and tour work you are a freelance person you are a performing artist all those people will definitely get benefited and like the way guys i have already mentioned this thing the way all the air houses are operating for you this could be a very significant time for establishing some very strong connections with some important people as well and your um, your uh, humorous personality your charming uh, personality might also be able to impress people all around you as well and if you are in that nature of work where communicating or giving performances is an integral part of your line of work all those people can also get benefited the only concern over here is that guys i'm only just worried about the time period first of all the energies around the may 5th and after that the window till may 10th when Mars and Venus, your ascendant Lord and Venus are going to be conjunct in the third house, which can drive some very unprovoked uh, sort of agitation or kind of very rash, headstrong kind of behavior, like driven by your passion or whims or impulse, doing something which you will regret later on or trying to chase something or kind of conquer something why are using force so refrain from all these kind of things so my um like uh prediction for the aries lagna is that only the matters of your behavior and your personality i would say um staying low or monitoring your actions and your conduct till may 10th will become very important and after that for your uh, career for your profession for your skill for connections networking opportunity definitely venus's transit in the third house will be a very good indication also for all those people in whose case like if from the past couple of uh, weeks you're already having some uh, kind of you know a bitter relationship with your siblings with your friends or with your co-workers this will also improve your relations over there as well now guys for all the taurus lagna natives beyond out guys it is the transit of your ascendant lord so guys the saving grace is that with this whole energy of eclipse bothering you in the matters of your 12th house and uh, 6th house which is also coming in the scrutiny at least your ascendant lord being in the second house will be a saving grace so somehow guys as you know that wherever ascendant lord goes our whole focus goes in the matters of that house so suddenly you will be very much inclined towards well-being of the family members very much inclined towards your financial matters financial uh, investments financial uh, inflow so all of that will definitely going to be your priority and secondly guys as you know that second house which also tells about your finances as well so if you are working in a field which chiefly comes in the purview of the venus you are a fashion model you have a boutique or anything to do with the designing and all so this could be time when suddenly new clients or new markets uh, might be uh, explored by a lot many Taurus Lagna natives and if you are a freelance self-employed person then also this is going to be a beneficial time for you the only thing is that guys as you can see that the lunar eclipse is going to be influencing the matters of your uh, sixth house around the time of the May 5th and with the Lord of the Ketu being there in your second house just try not to do something or speak something which might hurt someone or do not go overboard in order to help someone like this is a kind of a typical energy where suddenly you will find someone in crisis around you and you might go overboard in order to help that person like this could be burning your own hand in order to help someone or burning a hole in your pocket so be very realistic even while working in a altruistic way in order to help people around you that is the only one thing which i want to say for the taurus lagna but in general and summarizing it amidst all this chaos taking place in your 12th house this is going to be a saving grace for the taurus lagna natives now guys for all the gemini lagna definitely guys in your case uh, venus is going to be coming out of your uh 12th house and it is going to be transiting to your first house so <laughs> i forgot that a uh, famous saying in hindi when someone is going through such a good time that you have all the sweets in both of your hands even in your mouth 
so you are actually going through very uh, beneficial time so not only your 11th house is in such a strengthened state but over and above that the planet of uh, beauty luxury financial prosperity connections networking opportunity will also going to be entering your first house so definitely guys um, the kind of role which venus plays in your case so as you can see that venus in your case has got the rulership over your fifth house as well so guys um, again see i do not know the planetary alignments in your case or what sort of dashas are currently operational in your life but basis looking at the transit specifically i would say that this is a very good time when uh, some sudden um, you know return on the past investments made by you uh, can be experienced by a lot many people or if during this time you have to give any presentation any performance you might be able to impress people even in the matters of love romance relationship for all the students who have to write any important competitive exam so guys um, there are very certain cases when i give this kind of free hold to a uh, uh, specific lagnas that take the leap of faith uh planets and omens and divine celestial beings are going to support you this is that sort of yoga which is getting formed for you guys so yes guys only have good things to say charm and elegance and beauty and grace of venus is coming right over there in your first house so if in any way you can decide shri suktam uh it will be a very good way of appeasing the energy of venus and just stay respectful towards the feminine influence all around you and this is going to be one of the very uh, best a uh, fortunate and profitable transit of venus right over there in your first house and i'm not saying that only looking at the venus the way all the planetary vibrations are contributing towards it now guys for all the cancer lagna it is so guys in your case definitely this is going to be a very sensitive time because as you can see that already the rahu and ketu axis is influencing the matters of your 4th house and 10th house we all know this thing that whenever lunar eclipse is taking place it influences the water signs and more over the cancer lagna or cancer moon sign the most so ketu's presence in the 4th house is already making you very insecure very anxious 10th house eclipse yoga many times makes our uh public dealing very questionable and over and above that saturn being strengthened in the um like uh 8th house and venus's transit to your 12th house is kind of creating energy of vulnerability because guys as you can see that the 4th house lord and the 11th house lord is going there in the uh, 12th house so this is in itself is again a indication not being able to express yourself at the right time or too much of the passion which is um, kind of you know uh deep inside it is kind of troubling you or pent up energy is bothering you troubling you so guys the only concern and the only thing which i want to say over here for the um, cancer lagna native is that you are uh, dealing with the feminine influence around you have to be very monitored have to be very well calculative any of the wrong action done by you during this time because your yogas are running in such a way in the transit that this is a typical yoga where people become subjected to wrong accusation wrong allegation so and over and above that venus is entering the 12th house and let's say for example your lifestyle is like that you have got a very hedonistic lifestyle then you are actually heading towards some kind of punishment or sort of you know uh, defamation and all so i want to be very clear and very specific my objective is not to scare you over here it's just to keep you a uh, forewarned so that you can take your decisions accordingly but yes guys when we talk about anything to do with the like rather i would say that keeping a low profile uh, taking out time for for your own grooming for your own self introspection gymming travels uh you know artistic creative pursuit this is how you should be utilizing this energy and this is not a very good time for indulging into all those things which are already very painful or going back to the past wounds or taking some important decision at work front where there is a lot of risk and uncertainty is involved so keep yourself in a safe zone that is the only one thing which i want to advise uh to all the cancer lagna natives and yes guys during this time one thing is for sure that like a lot many times what happen is that although this is a very wrong choice a lot many times in order to release the inner turmoil inner anguish we take the route of alcohol sex and shopping extravagance so this is that kind of transit of venus where the inner anguish might drive your energies for pleasure seeking through these things which is not a very healthy way 
of finding that rejuvenation. So be very cautious, be very careful. Uh, too much of the indulgences and hedonism might land a lot many cancer lagna native towards a regret later on. And yes, guys, just stay respectful towards the feminine influence around you. Recitation of Shri Suktam is very much recommended. And if too much of the partying and too much of that is your lifestyle. So going for moderation is the only one thing which I want to recommend. And guys, uh, 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 the energies around the May 5th, when the lunar eclipse is going to be taking place, use that time for meditation, chanting and, you know, going deep within. And time period specifically till uh, May 10th is very sensitive. This Mars and Venus conjunction taking place in your 12th house will definitely push and drive lot many cancer lagna natives towards some you know pent up energies and passion coming out on surface uh, suddenly surprising people with your ideas with your uh, expressions so be very cautious be very careful so like the way i mentioned this thing uh, you know uh, massage spa uh, nature uh, art creativity look for some healthy alternatives for the release of energy that is the only one thing which i want to say now guys for all the uh, leo lagna natives so guys for the leo lagna natives definitely i only have good things to say for you guys in your case uh, venus becomes a very auspicious planet it has got the rulership over your third house and the 10th house nothing could be better than that that is the only reason guys that why we say this thing that leo lagna natives uh, tend to um, get the throne or they get success in media very easily the reason is that because in whichever field you are in media whether you are an actor you are a musician you are a journalist third house is very much required and somehow 10th house is your karma it's your profession venus in your case has got the rulership over these two houses so if venus is well placed in the chart of a leo lagna and he has chosen those fields and the right dasha came so definitely success is definitely on the cards or possibility of that tend to remain very strong. So definitely guys, in your case, Venus is going to be transiting to your 11th house. That in itself means that if you are in that line of work, which is specifically connected with Venus, where we talk about uh, connections, we talk about travel, glamour, giving presentation. So during this time, you might be able to generate a lot many opportunities for you. And guys, like the way I have already mentioned this thing, the way all the three uh, air houses are responding and working with each other so that means that whatsoever connections you will make during this time uh, it is it will definitely benefit you in your professional uh, journey as well so here i'm not talking about guys when we talk about the 11th house understand the difference between the third house and the 11th house but 11th house just makes you a part of the group which is relevant to you to in your life journey in your path where there is some common overlap common mutually uh, profitable goals for each other. So that in itself means that chances are very strong that during this time, people whom you will come in contact with, they will definitely contribute constructively in your professional sphere as well. And nothing could be better than that during this time, if you will initiate any of the project, specifically if it is connected with Venus, that during this time, any of the book written by you is getting released or um, during this time, you will start working on some new project. A lot many actors and all, they might start getting more auditions during this time. A lot many people might also get invited by these days. There are like so many podcasts where people are inviting experts from different fields. So definitely guys, for friendship, for networking, for opportunities, point of view this is going to be a very beneficial transit for the leo lagna natives now guys for all the virgo lagna natives so guys in your case as you can see that uh, venus is a very favorable planet for your lagna it has got the rulership over some important houses as well and it is going to be transiting in your 10th house so guys this is a typical yoga which reminds me of the way politicians and their pr team work so a politician is going to say something out of the turn slip of tongue some uh, staring controversial remark and then their pr team do the damage work so this is the exact situation which is getting applicable in your case with the kind of chaos which is right now taking place in your eighth house at least the saving grace of this transit of venus in your 10th house is that god forbid even life if it will put you in a conflicting situation or because of your own um, wrong used words, 
if you will get entangled into any problem, at least Venus's presence in the 10th house will definitely uh, give you a chance to put forth your point of view. Second thing is that guys, because Mars and Venus are getting conjunct in the 10th house. So definitely it will make you very driven, very passionate towards your work as well. Lot many Virgo Lagna natives during this time will walk with a degree and sense of obsession towards their professional career goals. With that said, guys, again, you are actually in a very vulnerable zone where I do not recommend any of the sudden unpredictable decision, taking chances, taking leap of faith. This is not a good time for uh, working with this kind of mindset. But yes, guys, because as you know that whenever a planet is transiting from the second house and the 11th house, which has to do with our income or 10th house or 6th house, which has to do with, with our actions, our daily work life. And if our profession is connected with that planet, it generally gives us good results. And Venus is in a good dignity in your uh, 10th house. So let's say, for example, if you are already working as a designer, as a model, as an actor, so more opportunities, more audition calls, all of that can work out in your case. Even if you have to give any performance, uh, this could be very much uh, well supported for you. The only thing is that guys, specifically the time period uh, or the energies around the May 5th, when this lunar eclipse energy is going to be influencing you in the specific matters of your second house and the lot of that is in the 10th house. So I would still say that any of the matters of your financial dealing, spending, your relationship with your immediate family environment and all. So uh, around the energy of the lunar eclipse, be very cautious, be very careful. Now guys, for all the uh, Libra Lagna natives, which are my favorite so as you know so guys in your case this is definitely going to be the transit of your ascendant lord so guys although in your case um, because of the rulership over the eighth house um the Libra Lagna natives do not get the dosha of the 8th house rulership. But again, guys, the transit of the ascendant lord in the 8th house is always energy of transformation, chaos, unpredictability, obsession and all. So I would say that um, its entry in the 9th house is going to be saving grace for a lot many Libra Lagna natives. And also, guys, whenever or in whichever house the ascendant lord goes, the, uh, the whole focus of our life during that time goes in the matters of the ninth house. So let's say, for example, guys, if in your case, the way planets are influencing you, as you can see that uh, somehow the uh, Rahu Ketu axis is there in your seventh house and the first house. I'm very much sure that uh, liberal Lagna natives are actually going through kind of a sensitive time uh, in the matters of uh, their uh, commercial activities or in the matters of their relationship as well. But again, guys, it all comes down to individual to individual. Like if I were to share my own case in my chart, my nodal axis is so strong. My moon nakshatra is even ruled by Rahu. Rahu is very strongly conjunct with my ascendant degree. Whenever the Rahu Ketu axis gets volatile in the transit, I have always got some opportunity. I have always get uh, benefited. So it depends on individual to individual. But yes, um, Rahu and Ketu just reduces our free will to a great extent. And uh, unpredictability, sensitivity, mystery, surprise element tend to remain very strong. So that is the only reason I would say that with this whole uh, uh, excess of Rahu Ketu in your first house, seventh house, the energy of lunar eclipse and all of that, uh, tread very carefully walk very carefully if you are planning any of the important significant change in the matters of your seventh house which is business which is your commercial dealings and also uh, deal any of the sensitive matters around your matrimony life very uh, carefully these are the two things which are getting applicable now guys coming back to your ascendant lord and its presence in the ninth house ninth house only has good things to offer and as you guys can see that in your case already uh, Saturn your Yo Karka planet is also in a strengthened state in your fifth house and your ascendant lord going to another trine house will definitely create a very good Raj Yoga. So guys if you are in that stage that if you are awaiting clarity in any of the matters of the ninth house like concerns of um, you know immigration related concerns any of the judiciary lawsuit related concerns or uh, you are finding yourself struck in any of the life related situation so during this time uh, doing your prayers with your heart and soul might give you the kind of clarity which you have been seeking right now no matter in which area of life you are finding yourself struck 
ascendant lords uh, transit in the ninth house of luck fortune divine grace blessings will definitely provide you the kind of clarity which you have been seeking and beyond doubt guys ascendant lord in the ninth house so any of the travels uh, will prove to be very uh, comforting nothing could be better than that if during this time you will undertake any pilgrimage and all your relationship with the father can also improve during this time and all those people who are who have to write any important competitive exam you are seeking any spiritual guidance any of the concerns of mentorship so things will work out in your favor so this is actually a kind of a time of clarity uh, being led in the right direction and right set of wise counsel guiding you this is how i am seeing this uh, transit for the libra lagna natives and guys uh, looking at your case uh, only in the matters of commercial activities and relationship you have to be careful but apart from that in majority of the areas uh, this transit will definitely provide you the kind of clarity and answers which you are very earnestly seeking now guys for all these scorpio lagna natives so definitely guys in your case um, it is a kind of a sensitive energy the kind of role which venus plays in your life and the house where it is going to be transiting so guys um, the transit of uh, venus and its conjunction with your ascendant lord in the 8th house is a very sensitive energy this is a kind of a typical yoga where driven by impulse driven by passion driven by and guys try to understand this thing when we talk about the 8th house related passion it does not come from nowhere it has been there within you like the way there has been that famous saying that uh, you know only if we have this device to scale the and read the thoughts of people half of the world is criminal it's just like that a lot many people do not get the chance to commit or they do not have the courage to commit but again the thing is that whatsoever comes out of the eighth house it is somehow a part of the deeper inner core psyche of the person planet just trigger what is going within you so that is the only reason guys uh, as you can see that in your case uh, venus has got the rulership over the seventh house and your uh, 12th house so that in itself means that lot many uh, pent up energies and uh, passion might suddenly be triggered during this time and mars venus that in the gemini in the 8th house here i'm not talking about some healthy passion or healthy outburst of emotions here i'm talking about something which is unhealthy there might be some resentment for someone or some sort of you know um, deep desire and passion to get someone so be very careful for not acting out of provocation that is one thing because guys as you can see that the uh, specifically around the may 5th the lunar eclipse energy is taking place in your 12th house and the lord of that is there in the 8th house so uh, any act of perversion or too much of the hedonism needs to be avoided second thing is that guys and all of that which i have just mentioned the vulnerability of that is going to stay more on you till may 10th till the time mars and venus are conjunct there in your 8th house after that the possibility of negative things effect you bother you is going to dissipate to a greater extent after that this is a kind of a transit which can also give you good results as well like you know some sort of inheritance royalty and again guys everything depends on your line of work that if in your case like you are a insurance agent or you are working as an astrologer you're working in the adult industry all those people can get benefited as well some opportunities and all can still get bestowed or even in the stock market speculative interest there could be some gains as well my only concern is that till the time mars and venus are conjunct in the eighth house monitoring your behavior guys 90 percent of the problems which gets generated out of mars it is only because of our own behavior saturn rahu ketu they still can make you a victim in any situation but problems created by mars has always our own behavioral faults attached over there this could be anger this could be passion this could be lust greed whatsoever so be very careful that is the only one thing which i want to say and yes guys um, uh, i would say that staying very respectful towards the uh, feminine divine and the energy will start brewing up right from the time when venus will enter so if you feel that you are suddenly feeling very tempted towards more alcohol and gambling or all these kind of things so i would say that uh, recitation of hanuman chalisa will be very much recommended for you that lord hanuman will definitely tame all these nefarious de desires or uh, kind of intentions of yours and suppress it 
for your own good now guys for all the uh, sagittarius lagna natives so guys in your case as you can see that venus uh, which has got the rulership over your uh, like 11th house and the 6th house and it is going to be transiting right over there in your 7th house so guys uh, although in a way uh, venus is uh, not a very auspicious planet for you guys but just because the entry of venus in the 7th house is always a very harmonizing factor so uh, because of which in the matters of the relationship commercial dealings anything to do with the public performances public dealing and all this is going to be very harmonious very beneficial transit for a lot many sagittarius lagna natives and guys as you know that if you are in that line of work like your business is somehow connected with uh, like this could be social media you are a content creator any of the travel vlogging you do or anything to do with the cosmetic fashion entertainment art creativity so this could be a very good time for you and also guys uh, this is a kind of a time factor where people bond very strongly uh, within their marriage or chances of new romance new relationship can also be on the cards and during this time even friends will play a very pivotal role in your life this could be connecting you with some financial opportunity this could be that if you're already going through uh, some misunderstanding within the marriage they might act as a, a mediator over there or your friend only might introduce you to someone so overall guys it's a very harmonizing energy whether in the matters of your commercial uh, matters your public image or even in the matters of the relationship this is going to be very harmonizing transit of venus in your seventh house now guys for all the capricorn lagna natives so guys in your case as you can see that definitely venus is your yog karaka planet and it is going to be transiting to your sixth house so guys uh, when we talk about the role which venus plays in the sixth house definitely it all comes down to the role which that planet plays and uh, its dignity in the house so this might not be a very good energy of venus to grant you with that feel good factor happiness or you know enjoyment passion and all but when it comes down to finding solace uh, staying very passionate towards your craft suddenly feeling that sort of energy and drive and passion to do your job with perfection or improving your relationship with within your daily work life so from that point of view this could be a very good transit of venus from your sixth house so definitely guys as you can see because venus in a way has got the rulership over your 10th house and your fifth house as well so if you are working as an actor or anything to do with entertainment music and all and let's say for example during this time you are also a part of the projects which are very philanthropic in nature there's a lot of you know society corporate responsibility and you are conducting your work in order to bring light in all these matters all these areas so then definitely all those people can get rewarded so yes guys overall um, again i want to make it very clear from the enjoyment point of view this might not be that good transit of venus the way it was it used to be before when it was in your fifth house but when it comes down to giving you some um gains in your daily work life or support from people around you or improvement of relationship or making some healthy constructive connection at work front this could be a very good transit of venus in your sixth house now guys for all the aquarius lagna natives so guys in your case definitely venus has got a very important role to play it is your uh, yog karaka planet it has got the rulership over your uh, like fourth house and your ninth house and in the transit it is going to be entering your fifth house so definitely guys any of the matters of your fifth house which you are trying to accomplish during this time planetary vibration is going to support you like during this time you have to write any competitive exam you have to uh, give any of the artistic creative uh, performances or you are in that line of work where too much of the charm and attraction personal magnetism is required so you will be able to make use of that in your advantage so overall guys this is a good transit because and specifically when we talk about the um, fourth house which tells about our inner emotional state fifth house moreover tells about the way our mind function and venus is a planet which instills love harmony diplomacy financial uh, exuberance and uh, you know thinking in the lines of making money and all so those kind of ideas which harmonizes us so overall guys it's a very good transit the only of my concern over here is that as you can see that um, the lunar eclipse energy is going to be influencing your ninth house and the lord of that is there in your fifth house so in your case specifically doing meditation doing sadhana 
at the time of the uh, energies of lunar eclipse when lunar eclipse energy is going to be very prevalent can actually reward you on spiritual plane second thing is that uh, uh, time period till may um, 10th when mars and venus are conjunct in your fifth house this will definitely push or drive passion and emotions to a greater extent so um, this is a kind of a typical yoga because rahu is already transiting in your third house making you very empowered so a lot many people the only one thing which i want to say is that there has to be healthy line between okay you like someone but you're starting to bother someone just in order to you know make someone agree to your views or your opinions or your proposals and all so just try not to be very forceful in the things which you have strong conviction and uh, in the matters of overall for love romance uh, artistic creative pursuit or self expression and even for the students and all this is a healthy and a favorable transit for the uh like aquarius lagna and also guys because fifth house also tells about our speculative gains as well so if your ongoing dashas are running favorable a lot many aquarius lagna might also get rewarded in their speculative investments or interest as well and any of the artistic creative fields where there is a lot of uncertainties involved like you know it's like for actors suddenly being uh, approached for a big project or uh, a lot many auditions coming your way or if you have to launch any product and all so overall it's a healthy it's a very constructive very favorable uh, transit of venus in the fifth house for all the aquarius lagna natives and lastly guys for all the uh, pisces lagna so guys in your case as you can see that uh, it is going to be influencing the matters of your fourth house and guys i always say this thing that venus is transit in the fourth house always brings happiness in the inner emotional state also in our domestic life as well and although venus in your case is not a very favorable planet but there are certain houses like i would say that venus in a way gets directional strength whenever it is placed in the fourth house like venus and moon they generally uh, manifest very good results whenever they are placed in the fourth house whether in the natal chart or whether in the transit so definitely guys and fourth house also tells about some uh, kind of you know royal favors as well so let's say for example if right now um, your fourth house is active in the form of antardasha or in the form of mahadasha or anything to do with the uh, luxury interior decor or you are an architect if you are in that line of work so guys whether you talk about from the uh, material point of view or whether for the inner emotional contentment and happiness feel good factor point of view this is going to be a very beneficial transit for the uh, like uh, pisces lagna natives also guys you would not believe uh, because my moon sign is aquarius when venus was transiting in my fourth house oh my god i spent so much money in the interior decor items and all one of which is this camera which you might be seeing it's not that expensive i know but for me it's good and there are other things which i bought so yes it's a time of redecorating your home and you know finding that solace in the company of your loved ones or suddenly life will bring all the loved ones around you this could be a old friend with whom you had a strong camaraderie and suddenly he was out of the picture suddenly those people coming in your life or you are intrigued to getting in touch with those people so this is the kind of energy which we can see with this entry of venus in your fourth house so yes guys this is something which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page dhanyawad <laughs>